this is the Osprey Asia 48 liter backpack. I'm stoked about this women's version of the award-winning Exos. The fit gives shorter contoured shoulder straps, comfortable hip belt, and sizing for the female frame. This mid-sized pack has a really unique carry system that gives excellent load transfer at a low weight and no extra bulk. It gives you the versatility for overnight trips, is ideal for ounce counters and through hikers. The Asia fits right in the middle of the Osprey light, lighter, and lightest family, weighing in at just over two and a half pounds. This will support up to 30 pounds of gear with the ventilated suspension, but Osprey has trimmed the fat to deliver a minimalist pack that is highly supportive. First, let's check out how this pack carries. There's a sturdy aluminum frame that gives the pack its rigidity, and I especially wanna point out the shape of the frame from the shoulders down to the hips. The whole back panel splays out to mimic the contours of your hips, which provides excellent load transfer at a really low weight. Most packs need to have heavy straight support bars and big hip belts in order to transfer pack weight to your hips, but the Asia is different. The lightweight aluminum frame mixed with the tensioned mesh back panel contours to your body and sits on that natural shelf of your lumbar and hips. When I shoulder this pack, I can feel the weight being transferred right to my hips even without the belt being fastened. The fins on the belt are a bit shorter than I'm used to with larger packs, but because of the design of the back system, you don't need a huge amount of padding there. This exo form hip belt is comfortable and the foam is squishy. The shoulder straps are padded and breathable and you can dial in fit with the sternum strap and the load lifters. Altogether, you have a back system that eliminates hot spots, has unmatched ventilation and freedom of movement as you hike. There's no adjustment in the height of the harness, so it comes in three torso sizes for a perfect fit. There's just two short zippers on this pack one in the top lid and one for the mesh pocket under the lid. If I were going on a quick overnight trip with minimal gear, I'd remove the lid completely and secure the flap jacket over the top. The cavernous main body allows you to pack gear however you'd like. And there's an internal reservoir sleeve and a central port so you can route the hose to either side shoulder strap. The reservoir is not included with the pack. There's a lot of versatility to the outside. The large side pockets can be stuffed to the gills with gear on a longer trip, but left empty and they disappear on the pack. These straps can be routed inside the pocket or on the outside to compress the whole pack. The front shove it pocket is perfect for your wet rain jacket to dry out, and you can store your trekking poles on the bungee and tool loops here or as you hike with the stow on the go trekking pole attachment loops. The straps on the bottom here and up top here can be removed completely and there are webbing attachment points on the lid and down the front of the pack. This pack has everything a minimalist backpacker needs. If you're looking for a supportive pack without the extra bulk and frills that we can live without, check out the Women's Osprey Asia 48 liter pack. Thanks for watching. If you have additional questions about the gear you just saw, please feel free to visit backcountryedge.com and get in touch with me or one of our other gear specialists. We also have technical specs about that gear on the product pages of our website, and oftentimes we have bonus videos. If you like our channel, please subscribe.